Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Classic Video Games back with another cool pinball video for you this evening. Look what we have here. Three beautiful games, but only one of them working at the moment. This is Bally's Popeye Saves the World pinball machine from about 1993, something like that. It is a wide body, which means it's more fun. Maybe. <laughs> We're going to play it a little bit and test it out. We have fixed this for a gentleman. We had somebody bring it by our store wanting us to take a look at it. He had a couple little issues. And uh, we've got it up and running. So, this thing features what it calls Popeye's Ark. So it's like a big boat with a bunch of animals on it. You can see uh, Bluto here messing around with the uh, the elephant. And there's a penguin. There's a monkey. A lion. A peacock. I guess that's a lioness. A zebra. A giraffe. Something on top of the giraffe. You can't tell what that is. Uh, a deer. There's some there's a bird's nest in the deer's horns. <laughs> An alligator. A stork. I guess that's a stork. Uh, an ostrich, it looks like. Some sort of meerkat or something. <laughs> a rhinoceros. Maybe a raccoon or a squirrel. And a koala. Boy, they're packed in there, aren't they? And then up here, so I, I assume Python Angelo did this artwork. <clears throat> then up here on the uh, top, you have a crab or something. Um, I have no clue what that is. You have a, I don't remember what those are either. <laughs> There's a little spider. This is something that I don't even think exists, but maybe that's an iguana. Uh... That bear, wasn't it one of the characters in the TV show all those years ago? Another bird. Maybe that's a... Well, I don't know what that is. Here's a snail. And there's a big gorilla. And the famous olive oil. Pretty wild artwork. Continues on the front. There's a couple spinach cans. And then on this side, you've got the same thing. Let's check out the back glass. It says, Back Glass by Python and John Yalsi. I'm probably saying his name wrong. And the, uh, the date on it's 93. So there's Sweet Pea. There's Bluto. It says, Blow me down, I is a whiz of pinballs. And so Popeye has flippers for arms. And then look, the, the pinball machine that he's in is actually a copy of the, the actual slat art that we're looking at. You gotta be careful when you look at all the little minutia on a Python Angelo back glass. Spinach cola, sugar free. Couple little insects. There, there are flashers behind the flippers that make it. You can see. No credit. There's a bunch of hamburgers there on that turtle, and there's Wimpy. I will gladly pay you Tuesday for a hamburger today. They didn't even change what he said because it was so cool. And there's olive oil. She's up on the top of the of the ship, sunbathing. And it says, Boys will be boys and flippers their toys. Popeye saves the earth. Extra pure virgin olive oil sunblocker. They just couldn't resist. Awesome back glass. Even down here. 
get more little creatures. And they have the strange uh, uh, aspect like Python did a lot where he would draw the top of the thing looking up or something. If you've seen Bad Cats, Cyclone, Comet, he did stuff like that on all of those machines. And uh, on this play field it's kind of similar. So you're looking at the top of little characters walking around like uh, you would on Comet or Cyclone. So as you can see the whole thing looks like a big arc. So the thing is just, it has artwork everywhere. So of course you've got Popeye front and center. I can't remember the animal's name. <laughs> we'll have to figure that out. It says support crew. John Yousey, Eugene Gear, Linda Deal, Scott Matrix, Pam Erickson, and Margaret Hudson. Creative crew, Python, Mike Boone, Zofia Bill, Barry Orsler, Pat McMahon, Paul Heitch. Probably just butchered all of their names. Um, but you can imagine how expensive it would have been to build this because you're, you're designing parts that only fit on this game. So Popeye's art, they're never going to reuse uh, that piece that goes on the, the apron here. Um, and then there is this huge diverter over here. Basically, when the ball comes down this ramp, you can hit a hit a button at a certain point and try to knock the ball into one of these animals here. There's a dolphin, an eagle, a lion, I guess. Or a, I guess it's a lion. A uh, Maybe a panda um, and a rhinoceros. And then you've got this whole second level up here uh, with a huge Bluto face. And then the artwork on the play field kind of continues his body. So he's he's got olive oil. It says complete jabs to light lockjaw. So there's a couple little switches down there underneath him. <laughs> and then you can knock the ball in the middle there. Seems like that's where the multi-ball locks. There is a wheel over here that turns. Has a motor on it. It says 10 mil, 100K, 2 mil spot item, spinach can, lock light, oil, and spot animal. There are several wire forms. Three or four. Um, the upper play field has, has its own two flippers. And then there's a ramp back here. It says, find sweet pea. I guess I can tell which of the three ramps you went up. Um, there's an up kicker here. The ball can lock back there and then jump up onto the, the ramp. And then there's this escalator looking thing over here. With a snake on it. That's really steep. So it's kicking the ball almost straight up in the air. It's just packed. There's stuff everywhere. Imagine the cost. And then a lot of the stuff that they put on it was only for this game. So a lot of development for something that only works on one game. Now we got to talk about this thing has a DMD, a color DMD in it. So in the previous video we fixed the DMD driver board that drives this thing. So I believe the artwork is the same as it would have been on the original uh, display, they've just been able to make it in color with this LED replacement DMD screen. Look who's the grand champion. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess I'm pretty good when the glass is off. Okay, so let's read the instructions and figure out how to play Popeye Saves Planet Earth. I've got another little thing I'm going to read you here in a second. I hope you don't mind me uh, reading things to you. But, you know, uh, there are little Python artwork things all over the play field. It's pretty cool. Okay, so it says, Popeye saves the Earth. Skill will. Shoot ball into wheel and score value of the hole entered. So that's your launch. But you can also do it from one of the 
somehow you get on that wire form there and it lands in the wheel as well. Oil. OYL rollover lanes, advanced bonus X and light fight Bluto. Defeat Bluto for mode bonus. So oil, you can see through the top play field. <laughs> oil is the three rollovers up above. By the way, there's three pop bumpers hid up there that you can't even see. So oil rollover lanes, advance the bonus X and light fight Bluto. Fight Bluto. Fight Bluto. I'm not even going to be able to find a lot of this stuff. Um, I'm looking. Fight Bluto. Okay. It's that white arrow right there. Fight Bluto. <laughs> By the way, there was a for a while they called him Brutus. So there was a Brutus and a Bluto. It's the same person. For whatever reason, they had to change the name at some point. Had something to do with the comic book. Uh, defeat Bluto for mode bonus. Sea Hag and items. Sea and Hag targets light the ramp to collect the can opener, the baby bottle, the ketchup, and the flower. During multi ball, get four items to Popeye, Sweet Pea, Wimpy, and Olive. I have no clue. We'd have to play it a while to figure all that out. Spinach. Spell pop or I to light the spinach can, which doubles the corresponding shot. Okay, so there's little spinach cans at the bottom of several of the shots, the little green lights. That's pretty cool. Okay. Animal kicker ramp. On animal ramp, left flipper button kicks balls to animals. Roundhouse shots save animals when lit. All five animals start the spinach can. Hurry up. Multi-ball. Left and right jabs. Light lock jaw. During multi-ball, ramp scores jackpot. So the left and right jabs are the little stand-ups down there underneath Bluto. Escalator. When riding the escalator, use flipper buttons to select award when lit. Find Sweepy, try to find Sweepy by going through doorways on the upper level ramp. Watch display for the map. Okay, so on the display it's going to show me where to where to find Sweepy. They never said a Sweepy was a boy or a girl, I don't think. Rescue Olive Super Jackpot. Complete Rescue Olive Super Jackpot. Complete Bluto modes, all four items, five animals, three ball, multi-ball. Lock ball to start, six ball, multi-ball. Collect five spinach cans and rescue Olive for the super jackpot. We're not going to get that far, people. I'm not going to be able to pull that off. Okay, so I was on the Internet Pinball Database, and I found an interesting document, which is Python Angelo's uh, original pitch for how he envisioned that this game should be made. So let's go take a look at that, because it helps you understand what's supposedly going on here. So this is by Python Angelo. Pre preface, one of the problems with comic features that have run for half a century is keeping it from looking 50 years old. After perusing the materials that King Features sent to me, it become, became very obvious to me that Popeye the Sailor has not kept up with the times. Now normally I don't like stuff like this, but after seeing the finished product, who am I to argue with a genius? I'm proposing to take Mr. Seagar and Sagendorf's work into the 20th century, century and beyond. What an exciting undertaking. I feel proud and challenged to be a small part of Popeye's crew. Now, look how he's talking. Popeye's crew, right? Because it's on a ship. Anyway, you know, Popeye was a sailor man. The story, Popeye, the tugboat captain, is 50, is financially comfortable, and lives on his island. Unfortunately, he is also bored at the same time. His financial security comes from his royalties earned for endorsements of a major spinach company. Now, there, like I said, there is spinach. I don't know if I mentioned it in this video. It, if you go to the grocery store, there is spinach on the canned food dial that still has Popeye on it. There's Popeye spinach to this day. Additionally, he receives residuals from his old cartoon gigs. He watches The Simpsons, reruns of The Flintstones, and even his old competitor, Mickey Mouse. He still enjoys seeing reruns of his old show. 
Unfortunately, boredom has led to consuming too much spinach brew, and he is feeling restless. Olive Oil, born in New York City, is his still faithful wife. She tends their spinach garden and has acquired one of the world's largest seashell collections. The seashells are important to her, almost as important as Popeye. She spends her time roaming the beaches in search of new shells. Sweet Pea, their adopted son, is in his early 30s. His name is now... You can figure it out. He has an MS in marine biology, which was his father's secret ambition. That's interesting. He was a Navy pilot, but with the military scale down, has been retired early. He's having a problem in today's job market, so he has decided to continue his studies. He's studying, maybe astrophysics, to be in tune with the future. Bluto, Popeye's old foe, has a big oil business in the U.S. His oil company, Brutus Oil, has recently had a huge oil spill. Bluto, the oil tycoon, is a ruthless, greedy man. He enjoys his collection of Jags and Rolls Royces, Las Vegas, Las Vegas gambling sprees, and he's still obsessed with st- and he's still obsessed with stealing olive from Popeye, even after all of these years. Wimpy the Mooch still hangs around the old island, does garden work, and goes with Popeye on fishing trips. The Sea Hag runs and owns a Japanese Norwegian fishing fleet that kills whales and porpoises. He overfishes the waters of the planet. I thought the sea hag was a she. I, I don't know. We're getting we're getting real weird here on some of these. I'm going to get banned from YouTube for talking. I'm using way too many. Uh, uh, what do you call it? <laughs> anyway, the special day. Popeye goes fishing, and after two weeks of catching nothing but plastic bags, tires, styrofoam cups, and other junk, finally catches. A three-pound grouper that has propeller scars from speed boats on his back has a mouthful of hooks and purple eyes from mercury poisoning. Popeye pulls out the hooks, dresses the fish's wounds, and releases the fish back to the water. He then has a stiff shot of spinach schnapps and heads home totally disgusted. While tying up the boat and bickering with Wimpy, who's hungry and unhappy because they have no fish to barbecue, olive oil shows up in a tiz. While combing the beaches for shells on the island, her feet were caught in a globs of tar from Bluto's oil spill. Also, went, she went surfing. She got tangled in drift netting and stung by a discarded syringe that washed up on the beach. By the way, I don't... Python Angelo, I don't believe... Let me go check his nationality real quick. One second. Okay, I checked. He was actually born in Transylvania, Romania. So, you know... I'm mentioning a couple of his misspellings and stuff, but you got to cut the guy some credit. He, English was a second language. At this point, Popeye can stand it no more. He's had all he can stand, and he can't stand no more. He goes back to the continental U.S. to search for a solution to what is happening to the world outside that is invading and poisoning his paradise. He returns to the old docks where he was a tugboat captain in New York. The waters are wretched and stink. Garbage floats all over the harbor. Everyone is concerned only with money, just making money. Disgusted, he goes to New Orleans, where he was once a shrimp boat captain. He finds the place overrun by offshore drilling, canal corrosion, pollution, and the shrimping industry is devastated. He goes to L.A., where he was once a tuna boat captain, and finds that fishing is also lousy because the waters are overfished. But tuna means money, and that's all people care for. In Alaska, he finds out about the Exxon Valdez. In Nova Scotia, he finds no cod, no pike on the Mississippi, just barge traffic and pollution. He sees Jacques Cousteau on TV begging humanity to stop the insanity. And then it goes on and on. Okay, we we got got the point. We got the point. Oh, wait a minute. I'm going to skip part. He goes home. Sells the island and his rights to the comic book and TV shows. With the money, he launches the operation of Popeye Arc 2000. Arc 2000. Now, keep in mind, this is in 1993. Through his former special connections and sailor buddies from the Navy, and with the help of VP Gore, (sighs) Popeye acquires Howard Hughes' Glomar Explorer, the biggest ship on Earth. With the help of Professor... Hulkus Pocus, he also acquires a NASA booster rocket and starts his genial project, building the Space Ark. 
It is as old as it is simple. Do what Noah did a thousand years be- a thousand years ago because of the flood waters. Today he'll do it because of a flood of ignorant people. <laughs> awesome. Once the Glomar Explorer is fitted with all accommodations and many environments for all creatures on the planet, Popeye casts off to all continents and seas of our planet to get a pair of every creature on board. In this endeavor, his son, Professor Hocus Pocus, Olive, and a crew of good-hearted, idealistic college folks join him. In America, he gets two buffaloes, two bald eagles, two chipmunks, two manatees, and the last two condors in existence. And then he puts them on a boat. <laughs> Popeye. He manages to get pairs of all creatures of the air, land, and sea. In South America, he gets two jaguars, two parrots, and two of each creature native to... To the area in Africa, Asia, Australia, Antarctica, Europe. Right? They put a protective clear plastic bubble over each deck. Also, he mounts eight shuttle rocket boosters on each side of the giant ship and sets it upright, ready for launch. Olive oil has acquired all necessary provisions for the long journey ahead. Popeye's plan is heavily ridiculed. Religious leaders believe the coming Messiah is the answer. Business leaders think investments, production, and pollution is the answer. Professors believe that degrees in education will change the future. That all ridicule is planned to escape with the pairs of animals. Popeye replies to their cynicism in an extraordinary two-hour telecast underwritten by Texas billionaire Ross Perot. (laughs) He announces his bold but simple plan to set off with the pairs of creatures into space to find a safe and comfortable place to assure the continuation of their survival, to save them from extinction. He gives a detailed tour of the Ark, and Olive Oil launches the ship with a bottle of champagne. So, he launches the ship into space. I didn't even notice the space part looking at the play field, right? So, he's going to different planets and stuff. Cannibalia, animals that are extinct, higher mental beings use lower mental beings as servants and protein supply, blah, 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 blah. He finds only people, but no animals. Most people are dead from the pollution, and the resulting diseases are our over, are now eating each other from lack of food. He has written in my hand. (laughs) He lands the big ark in the waters off Cape Canaveral, and then there's no, uh, there's no animals left, blah, 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 right? He releases them into their natural habitats, and there is great joy. So that's what the pinball machine's all about. Only Python. So folks, you know, pinball machines are supposed to be fun and have ridiculous uh, goals and ideas going on, and he was great at that. It looks like he got most of the stuff into the game. I don't see any political people, but it says... uh, there's a geo map with aphrodisia, <laughs> fascination, legal land, sushi sea, and pandemonia right here. So it looks like there's modes with that. And then it says the spill company oil, plutonium waste, nevergreen logging, and the earth pavers. <laughs> Okay, folks, we're going to try it out. It is turned up loud. All right, you've been warned. Welcome aboard! Oh, nothing. Flashing lights to save the forest from Bluto. If you can't tell me, get out of the 
chorus. And save the forest. Oh, come on. Come on now. Hit flashing lights. Ooh, what's up there? You're fucking me, you. extra ball to buy extra ball for one credit. I'm not going to do that. That's cheating, people. And this wasn't a very good game that time around. I'm going to level you. Oh, he hit him. It didn't match. That didn't sound like MIDI. That sounded like they were actually it was actually a recording of uh, of uh, audio. Welcome aboard. Thank you. 
can't get it to go up the ramp on the top. It's hard to do. I was hitting it, but it wouldn't go up. Kind of weird. Flashing lights to save the forest from Bluto, it says. Gotcha. You are to be ashamed. I got a ball stuck up there somewhere. I have a ball hiding somewhere. What happened? Oh, there it is. Oh, I didn't get to save one of the animals. Gonna save it again. It's got a lot of potential. Pipe Bluto, hit flashing lights to close leaks in Bluto's pipeline. Hit flashing lights to clean Bluto's toxic waste. Oh my gosh. A little toxic waste never hurt anyone. Oh. <laughs> you can buy an extra ball for one credit. Boy, that's so smart. I think this game has a lot of potential. If you spend enough time on it, I think you can I'm get... And the DMD has a lot going on, but I don't usually watch the DMD when I'm playing. Let's try it again. Welcome aboard!
I did it. I actually got the ball up the ramp. Oh. Hit flashing lights to close the leaky oil pipe. I'll just dump some of this cargo. hit the forgot to hit the flipper at the top well blow me down <laughs> make yourself at home Olive. he locked her up going up ah. Boom, 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 boom. That was ball one. That's pretty good. Come on, it'll give it back to me. It don't do you like that. Oh, my God. 
folks so that is Popeye saves the earth wow what a cool game I'm gonna level ya <laughs> didn't quite get the match cool now if that was quiet during that part of the video it's because they were playing the Popeye the Sailor Man song and YouTube uh, gave me a copyright strike all for the love of the game <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed it it's a cool game I think it ha would have a lot of potential in your game room now I'm a casual player you know so all of you people that are obsessed with pinball and you want the super deep games I, I, I don't know if this one's super deep enough for you uh, it's a Popeye the Sailor Man game but for a casual player, I like Popeye the Sailor Man. I've always tried to, uh, 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 uh what's the, um, emulate Popeye the Sailor Man in my own personal life ever since seeing him as a little child. <laughs> I don't take no crap from people either. I eat my spinach, drink my root beer, don't want to mess with me. All right, so this, this feature over here is pretty cool. So you knock the ball up here, and whenever it starts coming down, it says use left it says something about use a flipper for animal diverter or something like that and so whenever you hit the flipper there are these little metal pieces that pop out of the side that run all the way down and so basically you just time it the ball comes down you hit the button and it tries to push the ball if you hit it just right at just the right time it'll pop it into one of these cavities and then it starts rolling down and it hits switches in there see the switch hanging down so it can tell where the ball went in, so it can tell what animal you landed on. So then it lights that animal on the back box, on the display, and it says, shoot lamp shot to free the animal, or save the animal, or whatever. But I kept missing the loop shot. I did save a couple of them. Uh, one of them was the porpoise, I think. It was pretty cool. Uh, so I, I like it. It's a pretty cool game. I like the, uh, the ridiculous concept behind it. I think they did a great job of going completely over the top on it. For a lot of people, it's a little too over the top. You know, there's a lot of crap going on. I've had a lot of people come in and say, wow, that's cool. And then I've had other people come in and say, ah, there's too much. I can't see the pop bumpers. I don't really, I, don't, I would rather play a, just a one level old school pinball machine. And I can understand that too. But, uh. I think it gets an A plus for theme and theme integration. Now you might not like the theme. Maybe you're not a big Popeye fan. But if you like Popeye at all, this is a damn Popeye pinball machine. I mean, they did everything they possibly could to integrate it with the theme and it's all unique stuff. It's not like they just reused stuff off another game. They made stuff just for this game, for this kind of crazy concept that Python came up with. So, or I guess I don't I don't want to shortchange any of the other designers. Maybe they uh uh, had something to do with the ideas of the game too, but that paper had been written by Python, so I just assumed that he was the one that kind of came up with the crazy idea. But uh, another classic Bally, boy, they made some great pinball machines, didn't they? So leave your comments below, let us know what you think. Make sure to give us a thumbs up for taking the trouble to film it. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to check out our website. Go to lionsarcade.com. Uh, we sell and fix and repair uh, which is different than fixing uh, arcade games, pinball machines, jukeboxes, things like that. We also have a vintage video game store. So check out our site, lionsarcade.com. It shows what we have for sale at the moment on there. Now, there's also a parts page on there where you can buy some of the swag that we sell, like T-shirts and things like that. And we also have links to some of the products that we use in our videos uh, on Amazon. If you follow one of those links to Amazon and then buy anything while you're perusing Amazon that day, uh, it gives us a piece of whatever you buy. So somebody the other uh, just a, a little while ago was telling us that they bought a new grate 
for their fireplace and uh, was letting us know about that. So we appreciate that. So anything that uh, you do, it gives us a little piece of whatever your purchase price is. So thank you for that. And make sure, last but not least, to check out our brother channel. My brother, Donnie, is literally my brother. We grew up together. He's crazier than I am. So if you like watching us fix these old pinball machines, you may enjoy watching Donnie fix old trucks and uh, old buildings. We uh, we just bought a mobile home that we're working on that we're uh, uh, repairing and a bunch of stuff like that. So it's pretty fun. I'm usually over there with him on his channel. So go check that out, and uh, we will see you on the next video. I hope you enjoyed it.